sit in my car. You know how you get somewhere? Do you ever just sit in your car? Do you ever just sit there? I can sit in my car and continue listening to an audio book or whatever. And I just sit here, don't want to get out. It's raining. So I had a conference call this morning. And then I was like, let me get up and go to the store. I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning. I know I just couldn't sleep. I had a good sleep. It was a good sleep until 4. And then I just, I just laid in bed until I fell asleep. And then I got ready for my conference call. And then I went to the store because I want to cook something. But I want to try um, making some Asian green beans, some rice and some meatballs and gravy. So I had some meat that I took out of the freezer. I would love for Bobby to come home and cook it because I don't feel like it. You know, if you get that time, you don't feel like it. Like you want somebody to cook for you, you know? But anyway, I've been very active on Instagram this summer. I'm kind of bored, ready for school to start. I'm ready for school to start. I'm not ready for school to start. So it's just been up and down. Um, I have some trainings that I have to complete. It's a lot of hours or whatever. But I've been very active on Instagram. Never been that active before. Just bored. And so there have been, you know, I've been replying to comments and stuff. But what really gets me is how negative people can be. I'm not saying I don't have my negative moments or whatever. I'm not, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that. You know, I have my moments. But I make sure I don't live in those moments, you know, or I try to reflect on a certain situation. But boy, if you say anything or if you say something positive, there's always going to be somebody out there that have something just negative to say. In particular, there was this one reel that I replied to in a positive light a reel of some black girls doing a, a cheer they was getting it honey yes they were they were doing the thing okay and then it crossed over to the white girl and baby the white girl attempted to do the same cheer and while her counterparts just stood around watching her and I did not look at the video as someone being funny or you know making fun of the black girl she, to me my perspective was that she was really trying it she was off beat she she was doing it to the beat that was in her head you know not everybody is born with rhythm because let me tell you hunty you know i got three kids and sydney no homegirls mm -mm, she don't got no rhythm at all so you know everybody's not born with the rhythm and i said well i appreciate her trying stepping out of her comfort zone and trying to be different and being different is brave and then i was like oh they they and i said first of all who are you talking about they are you talking about our unmelanated people and i was like you can't put everybody in the same in the same batch everybody is not the same and those are key that's a key word that we look for in state standardized says everybody always all the time no it's not always everybody and some of you may not agree with me some of you may have the mentality that all one race is a certain way and you want to walk around with that hate that anger but when you walk around with that hate and anger that's you being controlled so being angry all the time and you see somebody and it just sparks that that anger within you that's too much work that's too much work i believe there's good in all people all races um i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna put everybody in how i feel in 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 one bucket and then say it's for the entire race no I'm, not, I, I'm just not going to do that. So a lot of people got on me, um, but I still replied with kindness, respect, and with my perspective. And I believe perspective goes a very long way. If you choose to look at every situation as negative, um, it's going to eat you alive. Who wants to live like that? Just angry and hateful. 
I just don't really get it. But I can't control what other people say, what other people do. I can't control that. So I can only control what I think and what I say and what I want to feed myself and my mind with. And I'd rather look at the glass as half full versus half empty. So, and I went on to talk to um, a few people who was like, you know, that, that really makes sense. I'm really working on that. Had some great deep conversations. And, you know, sometimes I get in the mood where I'm ready to write. I have to pull out my backpack of vocabulary. Boom, boom. <laughs> because I also look at writing as art. And sometimes I just like to do it. And so with that said, I think the perspective we take on a lot of things that happen to us, that happens in society, happens in your life, there's always, I feel as though there's always a lesson, there's something to learn and grow from. But walking around angry all the time takes way too much energy. Changing your perspective can also change your life. Trying to seek and see the good in people and not trying to always harbor that hate in your heart sometimes you have to forgive people not for them you have to forgive them for yourself and i walked around with the deep deep hatred of my dad for years and years and years and he was gone he was dead and i still hate him because i i blamed him for killing my mother that's that that was in my head and that anger and I was like, Joy, that's too much energy. And one day I had to reflect and I had to think, did he really love her? If he had known certain things, would he still would have done X, Y, and Z? And deep down inside, I, I had to say no. Deep down inside, I knew that he loved her. And if he knew he was sick, you know, things would have gone a different way. And I don't think he wanted to hurt her so I had to let go and I had to forgive him in death he was already gone for years and I had to let him go and by letting him go I released that part of my heart to therefore make room to receive love and kindness and so on and so forth and I'm not saying that I'm perfect but I'm always working and looking for a way to be positive to have an open heart to listen to other people's uh, perspectives. And I'm not here to try to force my perspective of positivity on anybody. If you wanna walk around angry, that's on you, you know? But I'm never going to spew hate. And even with the last situation, um, was I angry and, and hurt? Yeah, but I'm not gonna walk around like that all the time. I'm not gonna be angry or be like, oh, I'm never gonna date again. Oh, no, no, you know, it was a life experience. It happened, I'm gonna keep it pushing. So I'm not going to lump everybody in that category and say, you can't trust nobody. You can't, uh -uh. men are dogs, girls are dogs. No, I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There are some great people out there. There are some loving people out there, honest people out there, um, respectful, loyal people out there. You have all types at the end. There are some, you know, people who don't get, who don't, who don't care, you know, who are out there to, um, push their narrative of negativity and what they could get and blah, blah, blah out of others and use people and deceive people. You have people like that. So it's just, you have to use good discernment. And I believe my discernment <laughs> led to my detective skills, but I'm not going to walk around angry and, and hateful. Am I still hurt? Yes. Am I still working towards trying to forgive people who have hurt me? Am I trying to forgive them for them? Nope. I'm trying to forgive them for me so I can free up that space. And that comes with healing, slowing down thinking, um, and releasing that negativity that wants to live deep within your soul and your spirit. Mm -mm. I just want light and love. And like I said, I'm not perfect, but I'm aware. And see, that's the big thing. I'm aware of the things I think, and if it's negative, I have to work hard to chase that negativity out. Do I do everything right? No, but I'm able to sit and reflect and think about things. It's like I'm woke. I'm woke. 
and can you do things a different way a better way can you be a better person i believe we should always be working towards being better individuals you can't change what somebody else does and the only thing you can do you can just work on you and what you can do to change or to improve to become a better you does that make sense because you can't change what harry and sally are doing and how they think but you can decide if you are going to receive or reject the energy that comes your way and that's why i'm very protective about um, the people i keep around me which is not many i believe in quality over quantity any day of the week and i don't mind being by myself so you know although i have a outgoing personality i also have an introverted personality as well so i'm both I'm totally cool being by myself. And I was talking to Bobby about that. And she, I was like, so what do you think, Bobby? Am I more of an introvert or an extrovert? She was like, honestly, you more of an introvert. I will stay in my house for days and days and days and, and don't want to leave. I, I don't have to be around people. But baby, when I'm out, baby, I'm out. I'm out. You want to get 110%. You know what I'm saying? But when I want to be by myself, that's my time probably because I've been overstimulated. <laughs> That's my time to reflect, to think, to meditate. I'm, start, I'm starting to get into meditation so I can be more in touch with my mind, my spirit, my body, and always putting out that positive energy. And like I said, I am not perfect, you're not perfect, but we can always try to become better people. I don't know, that was just on my heart. So, we all have work to do. There's always something to do to improve to be better. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay. <laughs> Let me go upstairs and cook some. Go to my hotel, motel, holiday inn. And if your girl stops acting up, then you take her friend. Boop, 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 boop. I'm, I'm a learner words. I'm trying to learn the words. Um, I got to. A boy in my rasta, he feeding me lobster and pasta. You treat me so well. And my matey, I, I got a message to pick up my Mercedes. <laughs> I'ma learn the words. I'ma learn something is something. I'ma learn the words to something, okay? You 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 okay? You just watch. I'ma learn the words to something, bro. I'ma get it. I'ma stuck.